Hey everybody, Caitlin with Glitter Chimp here and Tumblr TV to talk to you guys tonight about how to do um, Serape tumblers using double stick tape. So what we're gonna do is sit tight for a few minutes. I'm gonna finish getting everything together and then we're gonna go ahead and start talking about how to get this amazing look on a cup using different glitters um, and how to do it. So when you jump on, say hi, and we're gonna get some stuff together to show you guys some different ways to do this and we'll get started. So welcome. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Amanda, glad you could be here. All right. Hey, Patty. Hey, Amy. Laura, I feel you. We're down. It's pretty hot here in Texas right now. Hey, Wanda. Hey, Brittany. All right. So, um, for those of you who are on our Facebook page, you've already seen the colors that we're using tonight for the, the tumbler we're going to do, which I've already started here. Um, so, oh, yeah. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> um, so, tonight we're using our glitter chimp glitter we're gonna be doing a kind of i wasn't gonna originally do a purple serape tumbler um but hey roxanne um but what we're gonna do instead is kind of do a little bit more of a funky type tumbler which making sure i have all my colors and i do okay um the facebook page is just glitter chimp hey keely um, and you can go on there on Facebook. We'll post the link later down and below in the comments, as well as we're gonna list all of the supplies we use today and the different colors we're using. So what we're gonna be using tonight is going to be Glitter Champs Amethyst Ultra Fine. Hello, Tiffany. Hello from Japan, hello. Um, hello Tiffany's um, ultra fine holographic glitter, which is going to be incredible to see with these colors that I've picked out for tonight. Uh, Let it go, which is a gorgeous rainbow glitter um, that I'm in love with this color right now. And then we're going to use Dazzle for those of you who caught the live er, the other the other day um, on Facebook. We were talking about bubbly, but we're sold out of it. So instead, we're going to show you guys Dazzle which is another puzzle and it's gonna dazzle you. So we got dazzle. We're gonna use true purple, which is one of my mom's favorite colors. Um, hydrangea, for those of you who are looking for it, we did add it online finally, as well as navy. So this is gonna be the coolest cup ever, I think. And so away we go. Um, in order to do this tumbler, you're gonna need your glitters that you wanna use. I typically do this with about seven colors picked out. I don't necessarily use all seven, but with a Serape, you're gonna want quite a bit of color options to use because Serape fabric, if you've seen it, is extremely bright and it has a lot of colors and the colors typically follow a pattern. So this has got seven colors on it here for this Serape, Serape tumbler here. So the other thing you're going to definitely need to have are your tumblers. Um, for those of you who are wondering, I use hog tumblers, uh, you can get the Witches Stainless Steel Depot. Um, so tonight we're going to be using a 20 ounce stainless steel tumbler from hog. You're going to definitely want, oh my gosh, I have to grab everything here, some scissors and I recommend sharp scissors. These are sewing scissors. So I love the, those are my favorite ones. Um, as well as you are going to need several different size double stick tape. Um, yes, and you can order it um, online and we do ship to Canada. We actually ship all over the world. Um, and so you can see everything on our website, which is glitterchimp.com. So, and normally I have a sign that says the website behind me, but I didn't put it out. So, sorry. Anyways, you're going to need uh, yes, Whitney, we do ship to APOs and FPOs. Um, you're going to need several sizes of double stick tape. Um, I always, I actually have quite a few different sizes, but I typically stick with these, fo this four. Um, 
which I buy these on eBay because they're the fastest and the cheapest that I can find. Um, so I use, this is very, very thin. This is two millimeter. I use three millimeter, six millimeter, and then the biggest one that I use is eight millimeter. And these are going to make the best serape pattern I have found. Um, there is a bigger one that I do use sometimes to fill larger gaps, uh, which is this one. And just to show you guys the difference here on how big this is. So this one's the two, here's the 12. This one's a big one. Uh, I only use this on my larger tumblers. Um, for those of you on our Facebook pages, you saw the tumbler that I made the big 64 ounce. That was um, the bottom layer of the bottom of like third of the tumbler was um, cheetah print. Then it had the serape pattern in the middle, and then the top part was turquoise or Tiffany teal, and uh, it was gorgeous. And the cup was such a pain in the butt to use because it was so heavy on my tumbler, on my uh, turner. So, in order to do this, you are going to need your cup. And I've already prepped it by sanding it. So, you are going to, I'm not using that tonight. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, silly winks. I don't know what silly winks are. I apologize. Let me know what they are and I'll tell you if I've used them, but I, I don't, I'm pretty sure I haven't since I don't know what they are. Um, when you're doing this tumbler, the main thing you're going to want is to make sure that your lines are straight um, with a, hold on, I'll show you, with a tumbler where it's perfectly straight. It's super easy to do. For those of you who are doing this for the first time, I recommend doing it on a bottle or um, Hog has the fatties that are the round, perfectly cylindrical tumblers. They're great. And... Um, Nope, I've never used two-sided paper before. I'm sure you can. I just always use the tape. Um, when you do these, just make sure your first lines are straight and you will be able to make it all the way around. And uh, it's gonna, I'll show you the tricks because not always will your lines be perfectly straight and I'll show you how to fill any gaps that may appear after you start to uh, take off the tape. So we're gonna do this the same way we always do our videos where we kind of we're going to show you step to step to step to show you how it's done um that way it's not 800 videos that y'all are having to watch it to make sure to make the cup so the first thing you're going to want to do is find your one middle starting line um with this one the one we're doing tonight uh the starting color is going to be amethyst which is a really dark deep purple um so we're going to start just like this tumbler here with the dark color in the middle, and that's your starting point. And then when you work your way out, you're going to mimic the pattern each side of the starting line. Um, in order to do so that this matches this side, we'll show you how we connect the two lines from this way. So let's get started with the eight. I'm gonna start with my eight millimeter this is going to be funny because they all stick together. So you're going to hear a lot of random slapping noises behind it from the tape. Okay. You're going to need your scissors. And the double stick tape has, just like normal double stick tape, it's going to have the uh, paper on one side and then the sticky part on the other side. For my first line, I always make a nice big strip. Um, because I do it on both sides so the lines are on the same point on the cup. So, and it's really sticky. Um, like I said, this stuff I buy on eBay after the video tonight, I will post the link that I, to the people I buy it from. I am not affiliated with them in any way, shape, or form. So, uh, if you want to order from them, you can. Otherwise, if you want to look and see if there's better deals. I know the thinner you get, the more the, uh, the thinner the uh, roll is, the smaller, like, amount. So, anyways, you're gonna take it, it's really sticky, and I'm gonna turn the camera down a bit so y'all can see what I'm doing, and then, um, this is gonna be fun. I always love when I have to turn the camera for you guys. All right, let's see here. So, I find about where the middle is 
on the cup. Literally just place it there and stretch it down to the bottom like so. And then just go on the other side. You can't tell if that's straight. And you'll just press. And um, if you want, you can put the tape down on the bottom, um, but it will get a little tricky. A lot of what people have done in the past is just put the lines like just straight across so that you would have the pattern on the bottom of the cup. Um, I actually typically on the bottom mine just do it um, completely just one solid color because I'm gonna, on a cup like this, I usually, I would put my logo down here on the bottom. So I didn't wanna cover up too much of a pattern or anything. But I mean, you can do the bottom of the cup however you want. I just do it the just a solid color. Um, typically I do it to match whatever my first line is. That stuff's getting sticky. Um, I, I use it so that just, this is a nice good plain background that I can put my decal on so people know that I made the cup. And that's just what I do with that. So, but you can do it either way. All right, so once you have your tape attached and you know that it's even, you will just cut off the extra strips and press firmly. And then you'll do it again to the top because now you have your starting lines on there. You don't need them anymore. And that is how you start these. And then you're gonna work your way all the way around. Um, the scissors that I use, just so y'all know, uh, y'all can see are very sharp scissors. I, um, I've had these for a long time. So um, if you don't have sharp scissors, an X-Acto knife will work just fine as well when you cut the rim or the base. Um, and the same thing goes for those of you who prefer to tape off the edges. Same thing, you would just use an X-Acto knife to uh, cut where you want your tape to stop. Um, I did see someone just ask about the logo. Um, yes, this cap still needs one more final coat of epoxy because I actually have to put a decal on here for someone. So right here, I would actually put my logo and then the decal and then do a final coat of epoxy so that then it's all completely sealed. And then of course, clean up the uh, rim inside. So then, so that shows you guys though, how to do the first line. Um, for those of you who are wanting to do the ombre with the tumbler like this, well, I'm gonna show you how to finish on this tumbler, but you would just kind of go to the point that you wanna stop and cut the tape. And then afterwards you go back in here and would clean it up. So then after I do the first strip, um, sorry, there's a fire truck going by. Um, uh, my logo is the chimp, is the glitter chimp chimp. And on the bottom of my cups though, I put glitter chimp designs for when I make a cup. Um, so once I have my first line set, I actually, I'm, I'm just following what I have on this cup because it's easier for you guys to reference. Uh, my second line is going to be the thinnest tape that I have, which is this really, on this cup, it's the dark black. So we're going to cut, go to the two millimeter, and you're going to put the tape on each side of this cup. If I can find the end of the tape. Where is the end? There it is. Okay. Don't roll away. All right. I usually do this, by the way, when I am uh, sitting on my couch watching TV at night, just because it's actually really easy to do just sitting on the couch. It's one of the few things you can do with the cup while sitting on the couch and not making a mess. So, but yes, I do still use FX epoxy. Um, I... <laughs> I tried Promarine recently, and because of how I heat my epoxy, it doesn't like the way I heat my epoxy, which is I use a um, torch to get the micro bubbles out. 
So I'm still using FX and that's what I like. I've tried Illumilite and we didn't get along. Uh, so yeah, I still use FX. Okay, next strip. So like I said, you're just gonna keep the pattern going around the tumbler. I'm sorry guys, this, is this isn't as easy from this angle. You're gonna wanna get the tape as flush to the other piece as you can. If it's not 100% perfect, you don't have to worry because the tape is sticky on the sides. So any little lines that you have that may on here, like you can kind of see there's just a teeny bit of a line right there. The glitter, when you put it in on the tape, it will fill in those little gaps. So you don't have to uh, worry about them as much. So just keep moving around the tumbler. Um, somebody I just saw asked what size the first strip was that I used. On this tape, it was the eight millimeter. Um, I get FX um, at on um, Etsy on their on their FX page on Etsy, and that's who I where I buy it from from them directly. And FX, I live in I'm. In, so I'm up in Willis, Texas right now. It's where our shop is. And um, I mean, we're 100% humidity, like 90% of the year. And it does well with the heat. I haven't had any issues with micro bubbles since I started using the torch method. Um, and I started doing the torch method because um, <laughs> I saw it on a countertop epoxy video and I was like, hey, that seems much faster. So, and I had a torch, so I started doing it that way. Um, okay, so we've done the thinner line. So now there's three lines here, or yeah, three lines there. So on the next line right here, I'm gonna use the uh, six millimeter. So we went from eight to two to six. And the best thing I can tell you guys to do is when you're making these cups, look online and Google a, um, a like a Serape fabric, like the colors that you're looking for, and um, that way you have kind of like a visual idea in your head of what you want the Serape to look like on the cup. And you also, you don't have to do it this direction. You can do it so that the rings are going around this way and it'll look just as amazing as if you did it this way. Um, I just prefer it this way because down here we've got, where's the end of this? Oh my goodness. This is going to be me for the rest of the video, just trying to find the end of the tape here. There it is. Goodness. So, uh, um, FX does have a smell, not, um, I'm trying to think. It's not as bad as some epoxies that I've been around, but, I mean, it does have an odor, especially when you heat it up. But I, you know, I recommend you wear a mask or something when you use it, especially if you're going to heat it up with a torch just so you're not breathing in that stuff. All right, so you would basically, I'm trying to do this and see at the same time. Uh, the tape I'm using is, th it is 3M. It says it's scotch. I'm pretty sure that's, I mean, it says it is on the inside. It says scotch brand. I don't know if you guys can really see on the inside. It is scotch. I buy it on eBay. I will post the link to the company I buy it from on here. Um, Cause I mean, I don't, it's not anything I sell. So I'll post the link for you guys so you can find it, but they're super fast shipping and they'll combine your shipping for you, which is even better. So starting to get across and I'm gonna do a couple more strips just to show you guys. Wait a minute. I'm like lost for a second. There it is. <laughs> and now I've lost the edge again. There it is. That's the hardest part, finding the edge of the tape. I need to get, they actually make tape dispensers for these, but um, I don't have any yet. Uh, this size tape that's in my hand is six millimeter. Um, oh my I'm trying to get these lines straight while <laughs> I'm looking away is just kind of difficult. Um, so you're going to continue to make the pattern. If you ever buy the tape 
and you need your you want your lines thicker to save money just what you can always do is um ooh, that kind of went flying is just double up the roll like so if you wanted to do two lines of one size to make it thicker you can um so that's for this pattern so now we've got in the middle i'm going to show you guys this will help a little bit so this one's an eight oh boy two six i don't know how well you guys can see that so this middle one is eight these are twos and this is six and i know it's kind of tough to read for this marker's not really writing that well tonight so it's going to follow this same pattern here so on the next size over i'm going to end up doing a three so and the cool thing is you can write all over this and it doesn't affect anything because it's protected with the paper. So, hardest part right there, finding that end. Um, but like I said, the best thing is you just sit on the couch and do this and it's not gonna make a huge mess. You're not gonna get glitter everywhere for doing this part. When you start putting glitter on it, it'll make a mess. Do that somewhere where you're not making a mess. Perfect. So the plan would be, so you would just continue around the cup to meet the side here and go from there. So now that I've got the base pretty much shown around for you. Whoop. So what would happen is once you get about to this point, you then flip the cup around and you repeat this pattern to this side. So that's how it's, that's how I do them on this side. So what, what I'll show you is when you have the, the cups that are not perfectly straight, you eventually end up because it's fatter here and it gets thinner, with the tape will start to touch here and you'll end up with this little kind of triangle piece. Now you can continue to try to shape the uh, tape to fill this, which is, I mean, it's very easy to do, but I just to save time, typically this is where I would put my decal, um, the monogram or whatever it is somebody wants is right here to kind of cover this up. Um, but it's, inevitable you're going to have some form of gap here that's wider than the normal than the single piece of tape which is easy to fix because i'm going to show you guys on this tumbler i actually left it open here um and so on this one i went with the same pattern now so on this one i have a much thinner piece of tape here but that's that's totally fine um so when you fill it this space here you can do one of two things. You can either use Mod Podge whenever you start to uh, put the glitter on the tape itself, or you can um, use tape. And if you're gonna use tape, I always try to find the tape that's best gonna fit in, this, in the smaller part here. And you can do that by just kind of lining up the tape with the slot that's open. So for this one, it's going to be the two. And the cool thing is, is that with this tape, you can overlap it and it's not going to affect um, the way it lays once it's epoxied. Um, I use double stick tape. I actually made uh, one of the moderators in my, in the Facebook page, we did a cup swap and um, I made her a cupcake tumbler. So it looked like a cupcake. So the bottom half was the double stick tape. And when you get to this section here, you get a lot wider gap, which is fine. Again, you just overlap the tape much like right here. So it is on top of another strip of tape, which is fine because what happens is when you start to peel off this piece, 
this next piece right here where it's fatter. Where's my hook? Um, when you start to peel this off, this piece that you're working with will lay flat. And then you just lay it back down to cover up where the double stick tape is. Oh, come on. There we go. If I'm going too fast, please let me know and I'll slow down. But the video is going to be available later, so you can always go back in and rewatch this. So I've gotten this half done, so I'm going to use the same size tape to fill in uh, this little gap right here. And if you're wondering, I use dental tools <laughs> to uh, weed my my vinyl and to do the serape tumblers with picking up the the piece. Some people use the the weeding tools that like Cricut and stuff makes, um, but I've kind of become addicted to the dental tools. They just fit nice in my hand. Oh my goodness. Cut the tape. All right. So you're just gonna do the same thing. Oh boy. Uh, yes, you can use the UV glitter with FX epoxy. I've never had a problem with it. All right, so now you're gonna take, oh, this is tough. <sighs> I'm just gonna watch it on the video. You're gonna line this up to fill. Oop. Oh my goodness, I can't see. Here we go. So now this is going to fill almost all of the space. This is a little too long, so I'm gonna cut it. And you'll be able to easily figure out where you should cut the tape, fill the tape. This is why I use the really sharp scissors so I can trim off stuff. I really recommend sewing scissors if you're gonna do this because they're a lot thinner so they can get into the little tight gaps and stuff. So now it's almost filled. So this, this two here would be one solid color, which when I do this, I always use a Sharpie so I can write on these and still be able to see. So on here, I always circle, like here's where these two are gonna be the same. Um, so these are gonna be the exact same color. And I'll then go back and do it again on this side right here. So, now that you've seen how to fill the gaps when they come in, you just overlap, super easy to do. I'm gonna start showing you guys how we go from that to this. So here is a completed tumbler with the different size tapes. Um, and I'm gonna make sure I got all this filled because this is what I did last night to prep for the video. So I've got my, like I said, I always use a marker so I know where my main triangle is, which it's right here. Go around to the other side, find that same point. And then I know where it is. So um, on this one, my, my main uh, Serape line is this huge piece of tape right here which is, again, on this one, this is a different cup. So um, this is the 12 millimeter tape. What I end up doing is going through my glitter and I'll put them up here so you can see the plan. So I always start with a darker color in the middle and this is kind of so you guys can see, I guess I'll have to like stand them up. So my first three colors I'm going to be using tonight are Amethyst first, Let It Go, and then Hello Tiffany. And then we'll cut into Dazzle, True Purple, Navy, and Hydrangea. Now you don't have to use these colors, and the fun part about this is, like I said, if you have a piece of fabric that you can compare, like, lay out and look at online, I highly recommend it because that'll show you the gist of, you know, you get to play around with it and 
one type of pattern may look good versus another and that's why this is a fun art pro like artwork because it's however you feel like it should be done so what i typically do to make sure i don't goof up is if i have a pattern in mind that i want to use i will write down how i want my glitter to lay so usually i'll just make a straight line and you'll see me do this because this way I don't get confused as to what color is supposed to be where. As far as in my mind, how I want the design to look, it may change um, how it ends up going, but I kind of have a general idea of what I want it to look like. So this is my big line right here in the middle. And uh, I use the premium FX epoxy that's on, like I said, I buy it on um, Etsy. They have it on Amazon as well, I believe. So you can shop online. All right, so my first line is going to be, sorry, that's really small, amethyst. And I'm gonna do that on this side as well. So once you do this, um, this cup does not have a base coat because I'm just using solid basic colors. So I didn't base coat the paint. If you're going to use any of the rainbow colors or white glitter, you will need to base coat your cup in a white base so that the white glitter obviously will show through because once you remove your tape, the uh, protective sheet here from the tape, from the double stick tape, which it's, I mean, it is sticky, sticky stuff you will see the base coat come, the base color come through because this is clear double stick tape. So in order to do this, oh good. You are going to take your cup and I have to move some stuff so I don't get glitter all over my tape. All right. You're gonna take the tape, the sheet protective piece off Get your first color of glitter. Like I said, I'm using amethyst and you're going to just sprinkle it on. <clears throat> if it gets onto the other pieces, it's okay because it's only gonna stick to where the tape is. Now, um, with doing this, I've learned one thing, which is I always go back on and press the glitter onto the tape just cause then it gets a little bit better coverage. Um, and I don't have to do more than one coat this way. So that's how, this is just how I do it. Other people may do it different ways, but this is how I like to do it. So um, this is my first layer. This is amethyst. I absolutely love this color. It's one of my favorites. Um, the tape that I'm using is 3M. Um, can you even see? 3M and it is 300 LSE tape and it's clear. So. Here is my first line, which is amethyst. Love this color. So once I do that first line, I do flip it around, find the next starting point, which is the basically opposite of this line and start on this side as well. So just that way I'm only having to open the glitter, the glitter one or two times. Like I said, you go in, you kind of give it a little rub just so it sticks extra nice to the tape and it's gonna give you a great coverage. This tape is amazing, it's super sticky. So, I mean, it really just holds on to that glitter. Okay. And always use paper underneath so you can save as much glitter as possible. All right, so now that we've done our first line, we're gonna do the second line, which obviously is right next to the first line you did. And you're gonna do two lines at once, just to save yourself time. So we've got the tape off, the protective part of the tape off next. I'm using uh, Let It Go, hey Brittany. And, oh. This one's our, got a seal on it still. All right. 
Now this is a rainbow glitter and I did not, like I said, if you're gonna use rainbow glitter, I highly recommend you base coat just because then it's gonna give you a little bit brighter color, truer to what you're seeing in the jar. But um, I wanted this color to appear more dark blue instead of the light blue that it usually is. <laughs> All right, so now it's got a bit of a lighter color right there and uh, don't worry you're actually gonna the video is gonna be um, saved on here so you'll be able to go back and watch the video again in case you missed anything um i don't use sandpaper i actually use sanding blocks um it's a it's a foam block and it actually is a medium it's just called a medium grit. It doesn't have like an actual grit name. And I like the sponge ones because uh, I don't have any near me, or otherwise I'd grab one for you to show you. But uh, I just like those because they fit in my hand better and I can grip that versus feeling like I'm gonna sand my hand off. So this is with um, Let It Go and Amethyst. And this is gonna be entertaining because I, so this afternoon when I was picking out what colors I was gonna use, um, these are not the colors I was originally gonna go with. So next color is gonna be Tiffany Teal. And Tiffany, or sorry, it's actually Hello Tiffany's. This color with purple is incredible. So I'm really, really excited to try it with this Serape. Because I've actually, I've only done two kinds of Serapes which have always been People always either ask for purple or the really, really bright serapes full of the oranges and the greens and the yellows. And I wanted to do this nice, cool colored one for the video because serape can be pretty much any color you want it to be. All right, so we got the tape done. So now we're gonna fill this line. This one, so we went on this tape. It was, this is 12 millimeter. This is three millimeter. This is gonna be six in case you're wanting to repeat this one and I'm in love. Okay. And the other great fit reason why you wanna um, really push down on this, th yes, this is in stock. All of the colors I'm using are in stock right now. So they are on the website. Um, when you push the colors down, it's the same effect as Mod Podge where, there's a lot of static on that, okay. So there is using, and this is a holographic next to it too. So it's got some really nice sparkle to it. And you're just gonna keep going around the cup until you finished. Rip that right off. Missed a little bit at the top. This is probably down. Um, so like I said, we're here in Texas. So this design is really, really popular right now. And I actually have a mission for myself to, um, uh, yes, I have done the washi tape before. It's been a while though. Um, my goal is to do a Surat Bay margarita glass and I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it yet, but this is my next big thing that I wanna try. I wanna do those margarita glasses. I've got a couple I finished, I just have to do, I wanna do Serape one, cause margaritas and Serape is like the thing down here. All right. So we've done now Amethyst, this is Let It Go and Hello Tiffany's. And I'm trying to decide. Okay. Like I said, I have a plan in my head, but I don't know if I like my plan. I think I'm gonna go with Dazzle. And that's why these are fun. And this is also why I always make sure to look at a picture before I do this. 
Um, that way I kind of in my mind have a plan of what am I, exactly I'm trying to do. That's a really thin line. Okay, I'm doing the darker color. <laughs> my next line is really thin and I always like to do the darker colors on the thinner lines. But that, again, that's just my opinion. You can do these however you wish. So, my tar. Uh, Maria, what do you mean by tar? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Do you mean epoxy? Tape. Uh, I buy my tape on eBay. Um, and I will post the link. I'm not affiliated with them, but um, they have super fast shipping. And I, I mean, I've, I've bought lots of rolls of tape from them. And they have so many different sizes on there. I actually, I love the tape because I mean, it just, it's nice because you can, if you mess up, hey, just pull the tape off, put a new strip down. Yep, navy is the way to go. That's gonna look good. Yep, that was the right decision. <laughs> All right, oh, I already pulled it off there. And the cool thing too about this project is, is you're not using, I mean, really any glitter. I mean, this stuff, our glitter is really high quality. It's polyester, so I mean, you don't use a lot anyways. Um, you will be covered in glitter when you do these, this tumbler. So starting to get nice and formed here and it does that's this color by the way uh saw just someone asked this is navy it's our new dark blue and i'm in love with it that one and uh let it go are probably my two new favorite ones So like I, this thinner line here, I always like to do the thinner lines either a white or a dark, but I, I prefer dark for the thin lines because they really kind of stick out. And they give a nice division to uh, the pattern. So now I have to figure out what purple to do next. I don't know. <laughs> it's tough because you sit there and it's, I mean, I know who I'm making this cup for. So I just have to figure out what I think would look the best. And then I, by the way, you literally, if you get take other glitter on top of these other colors, you just wipe it off. It's going to come off and keep your lines very, very clean. But now I'm trying to decide because I know what I've done now. Okay. When you do this, I highly recommend you keep your glitter in a line so you know what you've done. So you'll see me build off the back here. True purple or hydrangea. I'm gonna go with true purple. True purple. In case you're wondering, true purple is a great color because it's, I mean, like I said, true purple. Another one with a seal, jeez. Oh, don't you worry, I'm gonna use hydrangea. I think it's gonna be the last color in the pattern and then I'll start going back the other direction. Yay. All right, so see, you got that nice, break in there and the best part too is once you add the epoxy to this i mean the colors are going to be so much more vibrant and bright and that's why i love it i always call this is what it looks like dry and once you get that epoxy on it, it's that nice wet glitter 
Ooh. That's pretty. All right, so then we're gonna stick on this side here. And so you just keep going around. I'm trying to get to this triangle here so you guys can see how that's set, which so I'm gonna kind of go a little faster. Um, you don't have to seal before on this. You don't have to seal. I just use, um, um, I just always just use a, either a paintbrush or my hand to wipe off any excess glitter um, so that it doesn't run. But I mean, this tape, this specific tape that I use is so strong. I've never had an issue with the, t with the glitter running to the other side, like to mix with the other straight lines. Um, but that's just me. So. I am like really digging this. Okay, so now I have another really, oh, I got a big line here. Hmm. I'm so covered in glitter. Okay, so now we did that. Yep. And I know you guys watched the, if you watched the video the other night where we were talking about bubbly, I'm not using bubbly tonight. I'm using dazzle. Um, and that's just because this color is, I mean, absolutely gorgeous. I love using this color on my cups. All right, so we're gonna use, oop, butterfingers, uh, Dazzle for this bigger line here. I don't think I want to. I think I'm gonna use Hydrangea. Never mind. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna change, I'm gonna use Hydrangea for this next line because it is a bigger line and yeah, I'm gonna use Hydrangea for the next line and then I'm gonna use Dazzle for the thinner one. That's why I said, this is why it's fun because you can literally change your mind and hey, no one's gonna know other than y'all because you're watching me do this. Ta-da, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Yep, I may keep this. <laughs> may keep this. We shall see. Have to put my own name on it. And I'm really excited. This is one of the first times I've gotten to do a video and not had to use epoxy and have my cup turner going. So it's kind of fun for me because I'm not having to wear gloves. Uh, yes, this tape would work really well for the chevron pattern. I would use the thicker, the wider tape for it, which would be the 12. And I believe it actually, they have up to a 20, but I don't quote me on that because I can't remember 100% for sure. But that would be what I would recommend is the, I mean, you can, it'll work awesome. You'll get the great clean lines without a lot of the fuss. All right. It is warm in here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is put the next line here on this side. Uh, yes, um, I only do one coat of glitter because like I said, I do push I, when I put the glitter on, I do press it into the tape so it really, really sticks well. And um, it ha I've never had issues where it doesn't fill the tape. It always fills it in real well whenever I do the, the push. It just, just trying to make it not sticky anymore. Okay. 
Yep, I'm in love with this cup. Um, the Tate brand, like I said, it's 3M. There's a lot of people who sell this stuff, the tape on eBay and Amazon. I just found on eBay that it was the cheapest price that I could find for what I was making. And, uh, yep, that's why I like it. Okay, I'm trying to see the lines here. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to show you guys how we go in and fill in here. And uh, yes, I've only done it with ultra fine glitter. You may be able to do it with chunky, but I just, I've always just done the ultra fine because it will fill the tape the best. In my opinion, at least. Um, you could even use like our, you could, so we have t glitter that's finer than this which is the Divas Collection, which is going to be the next finest cut. And then we also have one smaller than that, which is the D, which is the Gangsters, which is, I mean, the finest glitter you can get as far as cut size. And um, it, uh, that would work too. Um, you may even be able to use mica powder. I've never tried to use mica, but I bet you could. Okay, so I'm going to use dazzle yeah yep we're gonna use dazzle on the next line so i'm gonna i'm not gonna keep going around this way i'm just gonna fill in this so you can see how the triangle forms because well like i said when it's wider at the top and thinner at the bottom you will have this happen which most cups are gonna do that so dazzle is a really nice gold like soft gold color Got a great sparkle. <laughs> so, not that nice gold line. Ooh, yes. I need to use this color on more cups. Um, if you're looking for a great all around gold color, uh, Dazzle is going to be a good one because it's a nice light colored gold. And I mean, it's, it's really pretty. I have kind of fallen in love with it. Oh man, that's a lot of glitter stick right there. Okay. So I've used the seven colors that I have here. And so now I'm going back in. I know, here's my little circle. So I know where the middle is. And, um, now I have to figure out if I want to go lighter or darker. And I think I want to cut it in with, I got to count my lines. So it's a pattern when you do serape. So you're going to always have kind of an even number here of what colors you're going to be doing. And I'm trying to see, it needs to be a, I think I'm going to do teal. What do you think? Teal? I think I should do teal. I think I'm going to do teal. We're going to go with teal. That's why it's art. You get to make it your own. And I'm kind of having a... I don't want to do more purple. Alright, so we're going to do teal, which will actually look really cool next to that gold. Yep, it needed teal. Welcome, Debbie. All right, so now we're just gonna keep going with the pattern. And yes, teal is the absolute best thing to do. Yep, I like that. All right, so now we're gonna do, it's a dark, let go with the purple. So 
so much glitter on me. All right, we're gonna go back with Amethyst. All right, so we're gonna go back with Amethyst on this one. And like I said, I mean, if you use like the neon glitter that we have, like spicy and heated up, even hot would look really, really nice to do a night. If you want to try to get real Southwestern type pattern, um, highly recommend any of the uh, rainbow glitters for that. So you get that really nice bright rainbow. Uh, yes, all of these glitters are available on our site right now. All right, yep. Needed that for sure. So now we're starting to get, you can start to see how it's getting smaller, obviously, at the bottom. I don't know, Brittany, what do you think? This is actually turned into a really nice Serape pattern. I'm gonna go with navy. I think navy. The true purple and Tiffany's already out. Sorry, we'll have to get more. We actually put a bunch of that online. Okay. I'm gonna go with the dark. And then I'm gonna do a really nice bright paint. Like, I'm gonna think I'm gonna do the hydrangea next to this. We'll see. I feel like I'm doing a weird Bob Ross thing. Happy trees, happy trees. I need to make a Bob Ross cup. My goal actually next is to make an office, the office cup. I need one, of, I need a cup for the office. Yes, that's gorgeous. All right, so now I'm gonna do lighter colors right here. So I've got one, two. So I have a, one more set of wide colors and then it's gonna be the bigger triangle piece. So. We're gonna go lighter. And like I said, I'll have to, when I get home tonight, I'll epoxy this and I'll add a picture to the comment so you can see what it looked like when it was wet and dry and nice looking. And when I'm not completely covered in glitter, cause I mean, I can just see how much I'm sparkling and I'm sparkling a lot. And I missed the bottom part. <laughs> So now I've got the V shape. Hmm. I kind of want to do Tiffany Teal again, but that may be too close. Uh, da -da. Um, our glitter starts at $5.15 uh, for two ounces by weight, and it all comes in shaker jars. So we're pretty reasonably priced pretty much one of the uh, cheapest. Yeah, close up of the rim. It's kind of blurry. That'll focus on the... Yes, I do rose. I start from 100% the beginning on a blank cup and then switch to this so you can see it. You think perp? Oh, let it go. Let's see. I kind of want to use let it go in the middle for the last piece. Uh, this is when I get really hard because I don't understand. I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna go with hydrangea. All right, so we're gonna go with hydrangea on this piece, and then in the middle we're gonna do let it go, 
because I'm not gonna lie, I think these two colors are gonna look amazing next to each other. Yep, that is super duper pretty. I'm in love with this cup. To who it was being made for, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be keeping it. It's mine. I'll make you another one. <laughs> okay, so for this last piece right here, um, there are three pieces of tape here. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to hold this and look at the same time but it is definitely going to have to be uh, let it go in the middle. It's too pretty. Tape won't lift. Sorry, I'm trying to get, there's a little strip here that didn't get, didn't peel off. Why won't you peel off? Feel like any glasses there it goes stuck to my finger oh come on live video folks you have that little tiny strip that you need to get out. Okay, so now we have this little last strip. I'm using Let It Go in the last bit. By the way, this cup, I was really wanting it to be mostly purple and it doesn't stay that way, which is awesome. Uh, the dental tool I got on Amazon. Um, I could go back and find the link, but I've had it for about two years. So I'll have to go back and look. So that, now I want to finish the other side so you, I can just turn it and you guys see the whole pattern. <laughs> so there you go. This is the Serape pattern. And I am super duper excited about this tumbler. Um, so what I'm gonna do is turn the camera back up. If y'all have any questions, let me know and I'll answer them. And as I answer y'all's questions, I'm gonna finish the other side and then I can show it to you guys completely around. But I am so glad we went with these colors because this is super pretty. Yep, I'm in love. Another purple that we carry that's close to true purple is going to be Wanda, um, which for those of you who don't know, is named after my mother, who is probably watching. Um, but yeah, when do you do the bottom? Okay, so for the bottom, this is a Yeti cup because someone gave it to me to make them this cup. <laughs> um, for it, I always just do a solid color using, and I just use Mod Podge on the bottom and put the glitter on it. Uh, for this one, I did two layers of glitter, at, like glitter, Mod Podge glitter, Mod Podge glitter to get the bottom done. Um, but you could put the tape straight across and do it however you want uh, to that. I love this, because I can already touch the cup and it doesn't get all over my hands. So uh, yeah, that's what I do and you can, I mean, like I said, you can do whatever you want on the bottom. I do the bottoms with glitter on the bottom, just a solid bottom glitter because when I make the cups, I put my decal on the bottom and that way it has my logo. I can do this much faster since I'm looking up. All right, so the tape that I'm using is 3M and let me grab it because then I can show you. All right, it's 3M and it is 
right here it says 300 LSE is the type of tape it is clear double stick and um, you can use Mod Podge to cover it I don't seal this tumbler be like I just do straight epoxy on it because the tape holds the glitter so well you're not gonna have any issues with it running onto the other colors um, it would just depend on how you want to do that but uh, yeah um, as for my logo on the bottom um, you can do it to match the tumbler I would on for example like this tumbler I would probably do the base to match the dark purple but I mean the cup ended up being pretty light so I'd probably do hydrangea on the bottom here like the whole thing would be hydrangea and then I would do a dark purple uh, vinyl logo on it but that's just how I would do it I don't need that now all right so that was gold teal so uh uh, yes, they would. Um, if you're using like rainbow glitter, um, it would. I'm using just solid. The only one in here that's the rainbow glitter is Let It Go. And I mean, it's pretty close to what it looks like on here. Whoa, you didn't see that. I'm dropping stuff. Uh, this type of a tumbler, because of the cost and the amount of time it takes to lay everything down and um all that uh i would actually charge probably for a 20 ounce tumbler like this so this one for example um i would probably charge 40 to 45 dollars for the 20 ounce um i did a 64 ounce uh jug like the big water jugs i'm um, doing serape and i charged 150 for it uh which is the picture on the facebook video for this and I mean, that was probably the hardest cup I've ever done <laughs> because it was a pretty intense pattern. Um, had to do the whole thing in Serape on the middle section. And then, okay, making sure I'm doing this right. And then uh, I did Tiffany Teal on the top in Ultra Fine. And then the bottom quarter was actually. Um, was actually um oh my gosh i'm blanking a uh, leopard print or cheetah print pattern with glitter and it was all glitter and it was for one of my friends from my daughter's uh preschool because it matched her couch that she had made all right so then from there i gotta look i'm trying to get the other side done for you guys so you can see um what did i do next dark purple so true purple or i mean amethyst Ah, oh, thank you I put on makeup just for y'all today. <laughs> All right, so amethyst and um, oh, thank you. I appreciate that mayhem. I like the name mayhem bling. That's cool. Uh, I've actually spent a lot of time before I started making cups. I mean, I watched so many videos. It was insane. And before I even made my first cup, I'd probably watched a hundred hours of videos and so I felt it was important to return the favor because sometimes you guys see a video and you're like get to the point so or you have to go through 800 different videos to see the whole cup which is why I try to do it the way I do it um so let me see here all right so hold on all right so now I've got to do uh dark Where'd it go? Navy. Oh my gosh. Aw, oh, thank you, Brittany. Well, Melanie, once you start, it's super fun. Uh, I, I recommend just jumping in. Um, storyboard tumblers. I am working on making one so I can do a video for you guys with doing that. Um, doing a storyboard tumbler because my daughter wants a space cup and I think that would be the coolest space cup to do one. Christy, I do know Porter very well. I spend a lot of time at the airport in Porter. Right off Porter Lane. 
Yeah, I actually still watch tutorials on tumblers because sometimes someone makes a new type of design and I mean, it's, you know, you gotta learn how to do it. And also just like to play around too sometimes, but I've lately been watching a lot of, um, oh my goodness, there's so much glitter on me. I've been watching a lot of tutorials on epoxy pours, not on cups, but on different types of meat. Like um, we actually make and sell um, do I have one behind me? Hold on. I do. I've been trying to make geodes. Um, so <laughs> I'm still learning. And uh, so we do these, we actually do sell these online, but they're a geode blank and you can use them and they're made out of a type of wood. So you can hang them on your wall. So I've actually been trying to learn how to do those a lot better because the first few I've done have been meh. And, uh, you know, you gotta keep trying. <laughs> so everybody fails. It's the only way you can learn by failing. And I have failed several times, which is why it's fun. Cause then you just start again. And it's really fun too, because doing the other stuff, non epox, like non tumbler stuff, my husband has actually gotten really into it. So it's actually really fun. Cause after our daughter goes to bed at night now, we'll go out in the garage and sit there and we do stuff with epoxy and mica powders and glitter and make different um, tumblers and are not tumblers he doesn't do tumblers but the geode patterns and we've done some other little some coasters together it's just kind of fun to do to have him actually come out and help and enjoy and then he enjoys it and it's kind of fun exactly fail forward okay I'm almost done Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, okay. I'm blanking. Hydrangea. This might be my new favorite color. How to use sticker. Um, so the tape pattern, I'll have to write it down, but it's, I did eight, two, six, three, and then I kind of just play with it and just um, I look at what I do is I Google a, a fabric piece of serape. And once I look at a couple patterns, I try to kind of mimic what the pattern is. And then, especially if someone orders it and they're like, I want a red serape or orange serape, then I can Google specifically that color. Um, and I can match as best I can a piece of fabric. Or even if you have someone that wants one, the best thing to is just say, hey, go on, you know, go on Google, tell me if you find, um, if there's a pattern you like or colors that you like together and just say, Hey, send me the link and they can send it to you. I'm in love with this cup. I'm about to do the last piece. And, um, it really helps you too, because then you know exactly what they want. So if you throw in a color, um, uh, I have done the ocean ones. I haven't done anything with palm trees yet but I've done the, uh, the beach scene type stuff. Uh, my next door neighbor went to Australia and brought me sand. So I made her and myself a lovely beach cup using sand from Australia. And I thought that was just kind of fun. That's what's fun. You get to play with different mediums than you want. I mean, um, one of my, probably the weirdest cups I've done was a snake skin cup and it was using a real snake skin. Um, come on now. Um, it was using a uh, rattlesnake skin that was given to me to do uh, a tumbler. And I did it with actual sand and a real snake skin for this guy. And it turned out so amazing that I now love doing cups with real leather. So uh, Melissa, if you're trying to order glitter, it's just glitterchimp.com. All right, I finished. All right, so here you guys go. So you've got your pattern start point here. And there it is, one Serape themed tumbler. And I, this is gorgeous. I'm so excited with these colors. There you go, that's super pretty. Here's the same thing in just purple. Um, when I did it, I used the epoxy method to get the sand and then um, put the snake skin on top while it was still wet. So there you guys go. 
And I absolutely love this. This is super duper pretty. Loving it. Show the top. There's a football in there because I had a stick in there. Y'all didn't see that, did you? So the tape doesn't go all the way up to the edge. It's cut right before. Same thing with the bottom here. But I love this. Sorry who this was going for. I think I'm keeping it. You can have the purple one. <laughs> so there you go. That's one complete Serape tumbler. And I'm in love with it. Absolutely gorgeous. I wish I would have done a little bit more dazzle, but that's okay, because it's beautiful. Um, winter sticker on, do you epoxy first? Yes. On this, I would, I don't have my Mod Podge or I'd finish doing it, but you'd put the Mod Podge here, glitter, and if you have it thick enough base cut, like color of the glitter, you would then epoxy this one time seal it like to get it nice and sealed once you have it's cured overnight so you're not tempted to touch it you'd put the decal right there on the bottom of your cup and then probably and of course you'd want to put uh uh your logo or whatever decal you want to put on the tumbler as well seal it one more time i mean you can have this cup done in two coats of epoxy easy because well you only need two pretty much maybe need three but the nice thing is when you do serape with double tape, double stick tape, it's lightweight because you don't have that extra coat of Mod Podge or epoxy on the bottom. So there you guys go. One serape tumbler, super cool. I will finish this one tonight and then show you guys a picture of it um, in the comments. And I will post the com in the com in the description below, right below. Um, so you guys can see where I get the tape from. Um, I'll post the names of all the glitters I used tonight. And also, if you guys are first time watching, don't forget to subscribe to the link below. And that way you're always going to be notified whenever we do videos. Um, hopefully we're going to be able to do a video soon for storyboards. And I'm really, really hoping to do a video soon on margarita glasses. So y'all have any other questions please let me know i'm gonna sit here for a few minutes and kind of clean up this huge mess that is all over me <laughs> and uh otherwise wow we did that quickly that's awesome sauce Woohoo! you guys then are awesome thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe below and always remember to sparkle on uh most of my tumbler sales actually started for um started by giving my cups to friends and then told them hey please carry this cup around and so mostly word of mouth is how i did it um starting selling tumblers um and yes thank you for my awesome this is my red modified swirl cup if you would like to know how to make this video um, this tumbler, there's a video we've already done, which is the modified swirl. This just happens to be my red one. This was the second cup that I made for myself, and I love it. So here's my red one. If you look, you can see that one. And um, otherwise, you guys have an amazing, amazing night. Tomorrow is Friday, so y'all get to enjoy the weekend. Hopefully a lot of you guys can take the weekend and make some, you know, amazing tumblers and other glitter crafts. And I'm gonna get on out of here. So you guys have a great night. Don't forget to subscribe and hopefully we'll get some more videos up next week. So uh, any new stock tomorrow? Yes, we will be doing a lot tomorrow. So as soon as you guys, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll let you guys know. We got a lot of stuff coming in the next week, two weeks. So lots and lots and lots of stuff. Um, let me see, oh, I just saw. Oh, where did that come from? Wrong button. Um, sorry, somebody asked something about the bottom of the cup and I missed it. So if you quickly type it, I can answer. Uh, we do have more Hello Tiffany's coming in stock. Um, if you missed Hello Tiffany's though, Tiffany Teal should be available, I think tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow, I don't know. I know we have more here. 
We don't count it as in stock until it's behind me in a jar. For those of you who want to know, there's a ton of glitter behind me. So, um, but yes, uh, you, I don't know what the name was, but we will have all this stuff added to the description as soon as I end the video. And I'll also post the link for the double stick tape as well as the size. Minty Fresh is coming in this week because I can see it actually sitting over there for tomorrow. Um, CC's question was, yeah, you can do a quick light touch up on the bottom. It's, it's super easy to do. I've done it before. Awesome. Cool guys. Y'all have a great night. I'm going to head on out of here and oh, good. Thank you, Jamie. Keep on DIYing. It's the best. I love it. So you guys have a great night. I'm going to head on out. I'm going to take this with me though. So I can epoxy it and you guys can see what it looks like. And I'll post a picture of it as soon as it's finished. So y'all have a great night and we will talk to you guys.